Good, good to be here, man. I, no one was clapping in the relationship. Who's in the relationship? No one's in the relationship around here? Stay single. Stay single. Round of applause for the single people there. Stay single. That's how it should that's how it should be. You know what I'm saying? You know, you can be in a relationship, just don't move in with anybody. That's the new, you know what I'm talking you've been there. Don't move in with anybody. That ain't it ain't right, man. Once you move in, it sounds good, you know, because they pitch it properly. Like, you know what, Quinn? Okay, it's been three years. We see each other every day. And you still have this mental checklist. You're like, we do. I come over. I have the key to your place anyway. You do? Oh, yeah. yeah okay. Okay. I cook. I clean. You do. You do. It'll be cheaper if we move in together. It would be. That's a trap. Don't do that, man. And then they'll come with it too, like a girl will be like, you know, or even even to the ladies, your dude will do it too. You know what? Uh, the landlord's selling the place. I'm going to need a month to crash. Why don't we just move in together? Some of y'all got booked on that one, huh? Four years later. Why is she still here? Don't move in, man. You know why I don't? This is, this is my thing. I don't move in with anybody. The simple fact that you, can't, you compromise your ability to leave, to retreat. You can't just retreat. You know what I'm saying? When you're in a relationship, three years and you guys lived, you can't, you can't just up and go. You get into a fight at one o'clock in the morning, what are you going to do? I'm leaving. I'm, for, you are? Oh, where are you going at one o'clock in the morning? Who's, which girl are you going to see? It's one o'clock in the, you're leaving, you're leaving. Let's see you come back. Let's see you come back. Don't move in. No, you just, yo. You buy a house with her, and then you know what you do? You start, you start marking your own territory. That's what you start doing. You, you carve out the basement. You get to a fight. You're like, you know what? Fine then. Fine. You know what? I'm going downstairs. You go in the basement. You're like, this is my basement, right? I'm the man in this basement. You're right? This is my basement. You know what I mean? That's my TV. When we moved in, I brought that TV. This is my couch. I don't care who's... I, pff, this is my couch. This is my basement. I run this. Pff, I'm the basement king around you. I'm the pain. They call me the basement. You hear the vent, you hear from the vent. Would you shut up downstairs? Sorry, 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 sorry. This is my basement, I'm the basement man. I'm in the basement. When I'm in the basement, I run things. I'm the man around the mayor of the basement. I am the mayor of the Hey, hey, don't, hey. And if you move into a condo, you're screwed. You know that, right? All you get is the balcony. You know what? Fine. Fine. You know what? Fine. I'm going on a balcony. This is my balcony right here, man. This is my balcony. I'm the man right here on the balcony. I, the, I don't care if it's raining. I'm the man out here. This is I get my freedom on out here. You, know, you hear me, world? I'm the balcony. But would you shut up out there? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Now they're making condos without balconies. You know what? Fine. You know what? Fine. You know what? Fine. I'm going to the bathroom. I'm the man around here. This is my bathroom right here. I'm the man around the bathroom. I don't care anybody. So I'm in the back. Hey, let me in. I have to pee. Damn it! <laughs> Don't move in, man. I have to break up with a girl all together, man. Love being single. You know what I mean? I have to, have to be single. I have to... Too much foolishness with a girl for a minute. Don't date it. You ever dated a jealous girl? Even ladies, have you ever dated a jealous guy? Have you ever done that? You know what I'm talking about? Ah, oh, they're so awful, man. But my girl got jealous over the dumbest things. Like, my cell phones are Rogers, right? I think it's standard for every cell phone company. But you know when you're checking your, me your messages? Who tells you your messages? An automated woman. I can't control that. I'm like, oh man, let me check my message real quick. <laughs> Please enter your password. Who's that? <laughs> it's nobody. I'm just checking my messages. I heard a girl. It's... Why is there a girl telling you your... Who are you calling? That is telling you your messages. Rogers, that's all I'm doing. I'm just checking my message. Who is that? So angry about it. Why does a woman have to, why, why does a woman have to tell you your messages? You know, that you go over to, well, I'm not jealous. Like, well, I'm going to go over to her house. Oh, well, what's this? What's this? Well, you got Mr. Clean cleaning the house for What's going on here? Oh, well, why not? Why, why can't you get old Dutch? Why can't she clean the house? Don't date jealous people. You know what I'm saying? Too jealous, man. I had one of them, um, one of them value village chicks. You know what I'm saying? You know them ones? 
Those ones that shop at Value Village, but round of applause, who shops at Value Village? Yeah, because you know I'm going to make fun of you for being cheap. You know you better not clap. I'll drop the microphone on your face and say, you are cheap about shirts for a quarter. <laughs> about shirts for a quarter. It's on sale, 13 cents. <laughs> oh, you want to be a baller of it? Well, you got shirt for a quarter? Give me the whole rack. I'm balling. <laughs> Throw the welfare check in the air, making it rain. Please. I don't wear no used clothes, man. I'm not into no used clothes. I don't know about you guys. Used clothes are disgusting. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm thinking, if I'm going to turn in my clothes, I mean, I'm thinking to myself, I farted in this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, you go to the bathroom, you like, you shake twice, and you be like, man, screw it, I'm drunk, man. <laughs> Put it back in your pants, you got a couple stains, you're like, good thing this is black, dog. And you just walk in, you just, you moped out, you're like, yeah, man. You know, you fell in some money, like, I'm taking these to Value Village tomorrow, man. <laughs> I don't do nothing like that, man. No used clothes. And her big argument was they boil it. That's her big argument. They boil it. Did you know that they boil it? It's clean. They wash it and they, they, they boil it. It's clean. Okay, the shirt, the shirt that I bought, it's, it's, it's clean. They boil it. I took her right into Value Village. I said, buy some of this underwear right here. Buy some of that right there. Buy some of that right there. I don't know, Quinn. It's underwear. It's, it's clean. They boil it. Put it on. They boil it. Then boil it. You say, put it on. Yeah. Yeah. Yeast infection. You see me? Don't do that, man.